today we're testing the all-new Chevrolet Volt, and we're going to do a battery efficiency test to see how well it performs. As you can see right now, I have full charge, and on this full charge, my fuel range is 423 kilometers, with a max of 499 kilometers and a minimum of 346 kilometers. We're going to be driving this over the week and see how many kilometers we complete on our charge, and based on that, we'll do some calculations to get a better idea of how much a full charge would cost us and how many kilometers we can actually accomplish based on our test. So stay tuned. Here we are stuck in some pretty heavy traffic and we're doing around seven kilometers an hour right now and as you can see uh, I just wanted to show you what our coasting energy use was so as you can see over here we have our coasting energy use and now I'm just breaking so you can see it reads one kilowatt right now and as I rev up you'll notice that number does go up so here I am revving up my speed and you'll notice that uh, let me focus in here you'll notice that it's going up a bit but the good thing is when you do get to the speed you want it goes back that down to like one or two or three kilowatts of usage you'll notice I'm doing around 20 kilometers an hour right now and I'm barely using any energy to keep that speed now when it goes green that means it's charging so you'll notice that that changes as well it's very it's hard to tell unless you notice the color whether it's charging or discharging the battery um, you'll see now it's yellow, that means it's using energy, and as I rev up, it is using energy. As I break, it's charging the battery. And now we're just at zero kilometers an hour, and we're using one kilowatt of energy to keep the car up and running, pretty much. You'll notice that we're at 10 kilometers an hour, and we're still able to do it on just one kilowatt. There's also something over here called a deceleration pedal. Um, it's right behind this, and what it does is it actually uh, slows down the vehicle without having you without you having to push down on the brake pedal. So you'll notice I'm pushing it, and the car comes to a stop. And I did that without having to push on the brake. Is it a handheld brake? No, I wouldn't use it as a brake just because when you do press it, I noticed that your rear taillight don't, doesn't come on. So I wouldn't recommend actually using that as a brake pedal. I'll just recommend it for probably slowing down your vehicle uh, and charging the battery while you're driving. But it's a great way to decelerate the vehicle and charge the battery at the same time while causing less foot fatigue. We just spent the week testing the Chevrolet Bolt and we have some numbers here we'd like to share with you. As you can see, we've driven a total of 412 kilometers, and our fuel economy, according to the vehicle, is 13.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Also worth noting is we have 33 kilometers of range left and have used 55 kilowatt hours of battery. My driving conditions have been pretty basic. I haven't had the air conditioning on at all, but I have had the sound system on the whole time. Also worth noting is I did about 60% of my driving in the city and 40% on the highway, just to give you an idea of how I got the numbers that I did. What we're going to do now is we'll calculate our distance per kilowatt hour and how we're going to do that is we'll take the 4 and 12 kilometers that we've driven so far and divide that by the 55 kilowatt hours of battery that we used. So 4 and 12 kilometers divided by 55 kilowatt hours gives us 7.5 kilometers per kilowatt hour. So on 1 kilowatt hour of battery you can expect 7.5 kilometers of driving. Now what we're going to do is we'll calculate our actual fuel range based on my driving. And how we're going to do that is we'll take the 7.5 kilometers per kilowatt hour that we achieved and multiply that by 60 kilowatt hours, which is the battery capacity of the Bolt. So 7.5 kilometers per kilowatt hour multiplied by 60 kilowatt hours gives us a total of 450 kilometers. So on a full charge, you can expect 450 kilometers of driving based on my driving. What we're going to do now is we'll calculate the cost of a full battery if you had to charge at home. And in order to do that, you need to take your local hydro rates. In our case, if you were to charge off peak hours, our cost would be 6.5 cents for one kilowatt hour. So what we'll do is we'll take the 6.5 cents per kilowatt hour and multiply that by the battery capacity of the Bolt, which is 60 kilowatt hours. 
So 0 0.065 multiplied by 60 kilowatt hours gives us $3.90 plus tax. So $3.90 plus tax, multiply that by our local tax rate, which is 13%, gives us $4.40. So a full charge of the Chevrolet Bolt, if you were to charge at home in off-peak hours, would cost you $4.40 based on our local hydro rate. Please take your local hydro rate to get a more accurate estimate of how much you can expect to spend to charge your battery. And finally, we're going to calculate our cost per kilometer or mile. In order to do that, it will take our charging cost, which was $4.40, and divide that by the distance we drove, which is 450 kilometers. So $4.40 divided by 450 kilometers gives us 0 0.0097 cents. So that's less than one cent per kilometer. Now let's calculate our cost per mile. In order to do that, we'll take our charging cost, which is $4.40, and divide that by the distance we drove, which is 280 miles. So $4.40 divided by 280 miles gives us 0 0.015 cents. So that's 1.5 cents per mile. How does this compare to your fuel economy? Let us know in the comments below.